Hello everyone, and welcome to the second part of my Skyward Sword Let's Play. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the second part, and um, basically this is leading up to my big in-depth review. I'm going to try and do pretty much every Zelda game. Um, if you like 2D Zelda, I'm currently doing a Minish Cap one. I've only got one. Oh, Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, so I've got... Um, got a, a minish cap let's play if you want to watch that as well but this is the sky sword one um, this episode is probably going to have a lot of cutscenes so you won't be hearing my voice very often um, because I don't really like talking over um, over the cutscenes because I'm, I'm not very good um, with um, <coughs> from voices and stuff on So yeah, um, last time we got the sword and we're heading into this cave by the waterfall. So that'll be pretty fun. Um, oh, So the thing you'll notice is I'm not very good at walking around in this Zelda. I'm pretty good at every other Zelda game, but I feel like the Wii Nunchuk, it doesn't, it's not very good for controlling Link in a 3D space. But I can manage with it. Um, obviously here we have a some stick things and this is where the loft wing is because we can sense it mm -hmm. so yeah we'll head in cut this down and we're gonna head in now so here's the waterfall so this is pretty much sort of like um not really a dungeon. It's more like a test dungeon in a way. Is, is that how I should call it? A test dungeon. It's just sort of getting you used to combat and stuff. And I think this will probably be... Actually it won't be our only combat today. But it will be quite far... Uh, far between. Um, so yeah, this episode is going to be fairly long. I think, um, as we are going to be going to the first big significant point in the story today. And there will be a lot of cutscenes, so no have to worry. As you can see, this is obviously on the Wii, so I'm just swinging my, my arms around. Um, yeah. Um, oh! I think I just saw a monster claw. Yes. So this is the monster claw. Now we will be needing these later on um, for a thing called shield upgrades and things like that, which we will be doing later. But not yet, obviously, as we have. I don't think we've unlocked shields yet. We might have, but it's not needed at the minute. But we will definitely be getting shields at a later point. But yeah, this is pretty much it for the first trial, I guess. But yeah, here we go. Um, another thing is, I um, whenever I save, I just cut the clip as well, so you'll probably notice that. But yeah, as you can see, there we go. Um, so I've cut the clip basically so it doesn't like get corrupted or anything. I can like move back to um, the last save point. But yeah, we've got a cutscene in a second, so I will shut up after that cutscene. So um, I think she follows you down here, but eh, just doesn't really do much. And there we go. We found the bird that is on the Hydean shield. So uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, so this is basically just a test of your. Um, 
sort of like testing how you are with the sword. You've got to like cut these in a specific way, which oh god, there we go. Nice, might be hard. There we go. All right, uh, it's cutscene, so I'll be quiet for a bit. Right, so this, um, if you press down on the D-pad here, you can um, kill your Lothwing. So this is basically like, pretty much the opponent of this. I don't think the bird has a, a name, it's just called a Loftwing. The red, crim the crimson Loftwing, that's what everyone likes to call it. So yeah, we, we just fly around now. So this basically taught, teaches you how to fly your bird. Um, think about... Um, in like controls and stuff. Think about it. it's sort of like a mix between uh, the Wii Sports Resorts uh, plane and the diving. It's sort of like a mix between those two, as you can see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I don't know how I feel about this control scheme. It's always felt a bit funny to me, and a bit uncomfortable, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's like the best. I would have preferred if it was like buttons and stuff, because like sometimes like corners and stuff can be quite hard to do. But um, yeah. By the way, this might be a bit like the Minish Cap, where there were quite a couple of bits where I had to be quiet for that. Um, this will be a bit more of a cutscene sort of episode and we can save here. So I think this is the last time we can save in a long time. Um, as you can see I cut there. Um, yeah. And here's Groose. Look at him. One of the best characters in the game man. But you guys will see why later. It's quite a lot of theories um, revolving around Groose as well. Apparently this guy's like the the origin of um, the Grudo or something. You know, Big Man Groose. Yeah, the ancestor of Ganondorf. Actually, that would make a bit quite a bit of sense. I might make a theory on that actually. I don't know. Got a bit of a theory sparked in my mind. But I'll probably make that after this series. I 
I knew I should shuttle. <laughs> cool. Hey. Hey. All right. So this is it. I'm going to be honest. I really don't like this race. I'm, I'm not the best with um, capturing um, the Golden Loft Wing here, so this will be a bit. Um, it might be a bit infuriating to watch me do this. The thing is, right? The the Loft Wing doesn't control very well. Like it works. But I feel like it, I don't think it was really made for this race. Like there, I completely forgot to press A and stuff because usually A is mapped with um, the wings. But most of the controls are used up because it's on the Wii. So yeah, go go get this golden golden left one. So this may take me a little while, but um, yeah, after this, I know it's a lot of cutscenes. And there is one bit of gameplay, like in between, but it's like a couple of seconds, so I probably won't be talking then either. So, um, yeah. Second. Oh, there you go. So what Bruce does here, he decides to knock into your bird. Oh, 
and he decides to throw eggs at you for some reason. A bit weird, but you know, it's Yoshi egg, so. I'll be able to get these weirdos. No problem. So yeah, the, um, if you haven't noticed, this um, Zelda intro is probably one of the longest in the series. Like... We're still in the intro, technically. Of the game. And I'm nearly... I'm probably nearly an hour through now. Um, whereas in um, the Minish Cap, if you notice, I'm already out of the intro, but um, I'd say this is, it's probably the most story-oriented uh, Zelda game, but it com completely focuses on um, the story in this one. I should show up for a bit.
Okay, so, a lot of us happened there, um, and now we see this um, very strange thing, don't know what that is, definitely not, but yeah, so, um, yeah, that was a, that was a lot of cutscene, but, um, yeah, we're gonna have a, a small amount of time now.
without cutscenes. Which, you know what, that's going to be fun because I was going to be uh, tired. But, um, yep, there you go. So I'm going to show you what happens if you jump off the edge at night or in like other places. So basically, this happens. Some dude just picks you up. So you can't actually fly your loft wing at night. Which at times can be a bit inconvenient. But luckily, it's pretty much nev never night in this game. Alright, let's run up here. As you can see, the the thing's locked. Oh no! So instead, we've got to oh, I need to fall down there. Then. Uh, um, just like in Breath of the Wild, you can use um your loft wing. Is it loft wing? No, paro ah, sailcloth, sailcloth to um break your fall. So it's pretty much like the uh, paraglider. Um, so yeah, you know that cat thing from last episode that we helped, yeah, it's, it's a crazy creature thing. So there is a chest down there, um, I won't be getting that because, I don't know, I kind of want to just get this story bit out of the way and I think that's just probably like a rupee chest which we can get quite a lot of. Okay. So these are keys. We're going to see this a lot in the edition of Zelda. And by a lot, I mean a lot. Oh. Here's some choo choo. I think they're choo choos, those things. They should just be called choo choos. The app. Oh no, I think I'm wasting my summer a bit here, but yeah, I'll be able to make it. So once again, we're going to come up to a really big cutscene now. Um, so I'm probably going to be quiet again. And the thingy's open. So. I'm going to be quiet now.
ジャズ、ボヤ、ジルン。いつも仕事しばりすごい。そのよく見せる、ハイロス。どんぐりあるさいけど、見せる。どんぐりあるさいけど、見せる。よし、どうだ、そうですね。マリシャ、ミスのステージ。いらめるさ、させる、みんなさん。モメリシャンスレイバレタシス。まだ少し。骨を切るのを手ぞ。切られてしまいましょう。ベースにまで入れるのをやつさ。顔をしまで見せてやつさ。
So, we are wearing Link's iconic green tunic now, and we are going to um, head out to save Zelda. Um, we are now coming towards the end of um, <coughs> the episode now. Um, it's sort of a similar amount of time to the um, last one. It's probably going to be a bit longer, but yeah. So um, yeah, so this is basically the main story of the game. It's just basically like a wild goose chase. But um, ah, we've got the adventure pouch now. The adventure pouch is basically where you store your items like um, slingshots, things like that, bows, your shield as well. Which next episode we will be looking at the shields. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, so Link will find Zelda. Because he's cool. And look at this weirdo. Hey. So yeah. Um, quite a lot of cutscenes this episode. Which means um, less recordings for me. Well, not recordings. Um, voice recordings. Which means the um, file size isn't as big. But yes, this will be it for today's video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed. Um, this is, um, we are one step closer to, um, the big review that I want to do, which, which will be fun. Um, anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe, um, I would really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, tomorrow I'll be doing the Minish Cap, so, look out for that. Alright. Goodbye.